hard to work together and live together and obviously, you know, you've got son together. Everything is together. If you work with a nice person, no, it's fine. It's easy. <laughs> but if you work with someone who maybe, you know, is, as we would say in Ireland, leaves their fiddle at the door. <laughs> Someone who's one thing in public and another thing in private. Yeah. You, know, it's, 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 it's you can't be talking, you about, can't, you. You can't be talking about me, Holly. <laughs> no. 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 It, listen, we never hide the fact that we do have our disagreements, as yeah. you know. I think that's very normal. And I think, actually, that's what people like watching. I'd this, like it to be like less their... normal. <laughs> <laughs> You just, you know, the thing is, you just like me to agree with you all the time, and I you say we don't argue. You abuse your professional He's position. Doing it now. <laughs> you abuse your professional He's position doing it now. because you see, you don't act professionally. So there you do. You take a chance to take a swipe at me when I know deep down she's crazy about me. She's crazy. She's crazy about me. She's crazy. This morning on Friday, and the two of you presenting this morning, you were talking about whether a man wants to have a, a partner who's more intelligent. And I mean, I must admit, I was sitting hooting with laughter. I enjoyed it, but you two, your face, Ruth, it was absolutely. <laughs> we classic. did start sparring, didn't we? You, you did a little bit. Yeah. So when you come off set, is it ha ha? That was it, or is it a little bit of? We no. do take it home occasionally, but not often. Well, you, don't, you don't talk. We make talk. up at home. <laughs> He's right. I don't talk work at home. I have a cut-off point. And I go, that was work, and now it's home. He will come at 9 o'clock at night and say, right, shall we discuss tomorrow's show? And I she go, goes, no, 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 no she hates yeah. homework. She hates homework. So if, yeah. if, if, if you were to, like, have an argument in the morning, if. does it ever... Uh, yeah, <laughs> if. <laughs> does it ever spill out into, you know, are you a bit more snappy or, or do, are you able to keep it professional at It's just time? our normal snappy self. <laughs> <laughs> Snappy. Is it true you go to work separately? Yes. <laughs> and the, why is that, Amy? Well, I'll tell you why it is, because we're very different on a lot of things. Ruth has, she, and she can't tell, but, and I've learned over the years, she has these sort of medical conditions, seriously. <laughs> but noise, it's true, is it not true? Noise, we know noise irritates her. Yeah, noise yeah. irritates her. Yeah. Yeah. Therefore, coldness Breathing. irritates her. I, I, I have the, mid, the mid age crisis. You know, I'm going through that men's menopause at the minute, and I'm always well, are you hot. Oh, I'm I have the yes. sweats, Janet, all that sort of thing. So I need the aircon on the car, the windows open. Ruth doesn't do cold. Don't doesn't do, do cold. cold. The, we went to doesn't work once video. together and I said to him, don't make me late. Whatever you do, don't make me late, because he's late for everything. So I was nice. ready to go. You know how I'm, I'm on time all the yeah, time? Yeah, I was yeah. at the door, bag. I was thinking, where is he? I went upstairs, he was in the bar. <gasps> in the bar. <laughs> but I smell lovely. And I said, <laughs> The aircon on, some crackly talk, talk radio. radio, and that's it. I said, never ever again. We were nearly divorced by the time we got there. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I have to ask you because you do seem to always be, we've talked about this obviously, the headlines in all the magazines. Yeah. Yeah. What are we doing this week? We can't and stand the sight of each can't other. Stand apparently. The sight we've got about each five other. headlines now out of this chat. Like, <laughs> does that ever get to you? Only when, I remember last Easter we were on a holiday and uh, we went through Gatwick Airport and my 13-year-old son was with his friend and they went to the newsstand and there was this ridiculous headline, Eamon and Ruth to divorce. Oh, and um, mm. and it really, it shocked him and therefore it shocked me and I was yeah. very angry with the editor of the magazine. Nothing you can do about it because the actual article is fine, yeah, it's very funny. But headline, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so that, you have that to, was You it. have to shrug it off. I mean, Jack knows now, he's old enough and we've talked to him, you know, and, and the headlines, when you look inside, it's never untrue, but it'll be yeah. something funny we've said on Twitter yeah. or, you know, um, so it's never very serious. Look, so. Let me sum my wife up. Last week oh, I was God. hosting... <laughs> she didn't <laughs> have you to. Please, I didn't. You lost in. Yeah. Well, you see, I mean, you, you Janet. lost in with a summary I was trying award. to say something nice about her. I was saying oh, last Friday on, night then. I was hosting an award ceremony. Yeah. And there I was, I was about to start the award ceremony and a surprise was sprung on me. And that was that I'm 35 years doing what I do and they gave me this Lifetime Achievement Award. I'm now at that age. <laughs> the person who presented it to me, they said, if you look off to your left, there's a very special person to present this. And there's me thinking, it's Kelly Brook. Mm. <laughs> Sir Alex Ferguson or somebody like this. Yeah. But this magnificent creature of a woman Aww. was off to my right. And it was an Irish award ceremony. She was dressed in green. Was very nice Smart, as well. see. And, um, and she came on. And when she gave me that award, there was no one who I would have wanted more to give her that award. The secret of your marriage, then? Can I ask you each separate... Lies, obviously. No, separately. <laughs> yeah. Separately. Ruth, what would you say is? Um, I would think massive respect for each other, massive respect professionally and personally, and also we laugh, laugh, laugh all the time. He makes me die laughing. He's as funny 
at home as he is when you see him. <laughs> and he knows he can get round me. Even when I'm really angry with him, he can always make me laugh and win me round. Yeah. So that's me. What would you say, Eamon? <laughs> I would, I would say this, and it might make me sound old-fashioned and very sentimental, whatever, but I would say sex. <laughs> yeah. I'm very good at it. Yeah. 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 I think that helps. Um, yeah. well, I, know. Yeah. How do you, uh, I can completely agree with you. <laughs> sex is very, very important, but how did you actually meet Ruth? Did well, you go around with a sign saying looking for sex? <laughs> On a street corner, it's absolutely true. I did meet her on a street corner, and I did. I was driving past him. Went, wow! I said, "Where would you meet a woman like that?" I'm thinking to myself, and that's because you see, although Ruth looks like Doris Day, she's the complete antithesis to Doris Day. <laughs> I thought I was you getting know, Doris Day. Yeah. You know, no, you, you, no, but she's she's completely different. But that's I literally met her on a street corner. She was standing there waiting. I wasn't for... working. I was waiting. <laughs> <laughs> 